Welcome to the Tool Hut channel. Today, we have a pretty simple, straightforward one. 2012 Lincoln Zephyr. The shop has replaced the ABS module with a used one. So we're going to use Forescan uh, just to make things interesting. Watch and learn. While you got a second, why don't you go ahead and click that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell if you want to be notified when stuff comes out. I welcome any questions or comments you may have down below. Okay, first things first. Any of the equipment that you see used in my videos is available on the website. If it's not there, send me an inquiry off the website toolhutusa.com. That's T-O-O-L-H-U-T-U-S-A.com. My name is Sam. All right, I got four, four scans started here. So we're gonna hit the connect button down here at the bottom. I'm using the Ford VCM2 as my interface. And it is a 2012 Lincoln Zephyr. I'm just gonna hit okay. And it is not equipped with the factory navigation system. Not that it makes a whole lot of difference for what we're doing. The shop has replaced the ABS module with a used one. And the B2900 in the ABS module is a VIN mismatch code. So we're just gonna copy the, the VIN number right from here, right from the configuration tab. It's the easiest way I have found to do it because it's really the only place that keeps the VIN number so you can read the whole thing out. And we're just going to go to the Quick Guides and Module Data as Built on the Quick Tabs or Quick Guides. <coughs> Under free resources, you do not need to be plugged in for this information. I'm going to paste their VIN number in there. And we're going to type in their special characters here. I'm going to hit submit. Now scroll down until we get to the ABS module. I like to minimize the page and put the Forescan and the as built data up here. I'm going to go to the part of the Forescan that looks like a ECM or a PROM. We're just going to tell it yes, and then it's going to give us a warning that we can uh, potentially cause damage in here. So we're just going to compare these numbers to the ABS module uh, as built from the Ford website. The Ford website is VIN specific and the information in the Forescan on the left is the information that's in the module that we got from the salvage yard. So once we do all of this, write our as built data, uh, compare them. When we hit the write all button down at the bottom, it's also going to change the VIN in the ABS module w along with the proper configuration. So just to so understand what's going on here, I am just updating the numbers so they match. The Motorcraft service information, they look like they all match now. So I'm going to hit write all. It tells you that it, that you could make potential damage. Are you sure? Then it says it successfully hit OK. Once the key cycled, once I cycle the key, we're gonna go read the codes here. Oh, let's see the way we got our VIN mismatch code. And yeah, one thing about Forescan, I'm not a fan of. You got to tell it you're done over there before you can go to another page. So we're just gonna. Uh, clear the codes and retest. Uh, 
again it wants the key cycled off and on just tell it OK and we see that our ABS code is gone so we're gonna go to the ranch and we're gonna we're gonna do an IVD initialization Let's just look here and see what else we can do. Like I say, we're going to do our IVD of initialization. Gives you some procedures to follow, and then it says it's successful. I'm going to tell it we're done. And we're going to go up, and we're just going to read the codes again just for just to make sure nothing pops up the only code we got in this whole vehicle now is the p1000 which we expect until a drive cycle is done so thanks for watching questions or comments down below thumbs up thumbs down subscribe to the channel hit that bell if you want to be notified when stuff comes out have a great day